going on everybody welcome back to RC car garage and I got an update on the WPL C74 Suzuki Jimny so I have been in contact with uh, Liam from WPL and uh, the drive shaft back again with the drive shafts but uh, WPL is trying to get this corrected and trying to get it right so I have been in contact with Liam from WPL about the drive shafts now the last episode the last video of the c74 i let you guys know that the 4x4 drive shafts will work on this thing but what you're going to have to do is flip the axles the both front and rear and in that last video i showed you guys how to do the front liam and everybody from wpl they all saw the video and they noticed that the rear drive shaft here, once the suspension is fully compressed, the drive shaft in the back, if you guys can hear that, come in a little closer, I'll show you. So if you guys can see right here, the shaft seems to be a little bit loose. The front is not as much, but the rear it's loose when the suspension is fully compressed. Now, when it's not compressed, the drive shaft is fine but once it gets compressed, it seems to be a little loose. So Liam from WPL sent me out a 34 millimeter inner shaft to test out on here to see if that's gonna help. I also believe that this shaft right here, this inner shaft might help without having to flip the axles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this guy onto here and we're gonna see how it works. Then we're gonna flip the axle, try it on again, and see if it's gonna work without having to flip the axle. So, let's go. All right, so first thing you gotta do is, whichever side the inner drive shaft is on, I actually have mine towards the axle. So unscrew that. take off the old one. So we'll put the new one in. And there you go. So hopefully you guys can see here how much more the drive shaft So you guys can see how much more drive shaft is in there. Even when I fully compress it, there's not that much play in there as there was. And you can see there's a lot more drive shaft inside the sleeve here. So the other thing I want to do is I want to flip the axle back to its stock location and see how that drive shaft is going to work on here. So I was telling Liam that I think that the drive shaft, this inner drive shaft, uh, will probably work with the axle not flipped. And if that's the case, then my guess is that they might end up sending or selling these axles as a kit uh, upgrade for the C74 and you won't have to flip the axle. So I'm gonna do that be right back with you all right guys so I went on ahead and I flipped the axle the opposite way the pumpkin was over here but now it is on this side and as you guys can see with the axle shaft that is on the inside the inside shaft it's on there it looks pretty good and as soon as you compress it there is still shaft in there it looks like there's still enough shaft in there so there is play like there was before but this axle this inner shaft right here definitely does work there's a little bit of play but there's that much play there but then again on the front because the wheels are so heavy, the suspension is actually fully compressed on here. 
you also have that play on the front. So, with the axle flipped, you have that little bit of play, and that's how much axle, that's how much drive line, I mean, that's how much inner shaft is in the outer drive shaft sleeve. I'm gonna have to flip, I'm gonna have to flip the axle back to where I had it because of everything that I already did. Um, if I were to leave the axle like this, it's gonna wind up driving backwards. So I have to flip everything back. I have to flip the axle back the way it was. But 34 millimeter inner shaft will definitely work with the axle flip. It looks good. It also does work with the axles the way they work. That's pretty much all I have. Oh, I did actually change some things on here. I don't know if you guys all noticed or not, but right inside I do have a driver. If you guys have ever watched Stranger Things, that is 11. That is in there. Um, I also changed the front. So I got the front roll bar bumper which definitely helps with the uh, front end here so with the 155s now the front wheel is not hitting anything on the front even when I turn about like a far there you go so guys the tires that I have on here, I believe they're 75, 76 millimeter tires. So if you get this front bumper with the 155 wheels, uh, 76 millimeter tall tires, you should be fine. And you're not gonna have any issues with rubbing. Nothing is gonna be rubbing on the front. 155 tires on here looks great. Now, I also ended up getting a winch for it. Which I have right here. I already opened it up. Um, I actually tried the winch. I had put it on here uh, for some odd apparent reason. I don't know why. But I hooked it up to the servo and I try to um, because I don't have the V3 I don't have the v res V3 um, kit for this electronics for this so I tried hooking up the winch to the servo and just tried to um, turn the line inward by having it attached to the servo but it didn't work so I'm guessing that I need to get the Res V3 to be able to get the winch to work properly because that's probably how they have it wired to work purposely on the Res V3. So I'm going to have to get the Res V3 but as of right now they are actually sold out. So I have to wait for them to come back in stock so I can order one. So this kit also did come with a rear bumper that I have right here. I still have to put it on. Uh, there are some accessories that came, some red hooks that came with the rear bumper that I'm still gotta put that guy on. Uh, it is, I am going to lose my lighting here. And the other thing that I just realized is <laughs> that I don't think the kit brought anything, any light, len any lenses to cover these. Either it did and I lost them. So I'm going to have to look for them. But yeah, that's where I'm at with this guy. Uh, I'm thinking, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. So I'm thinking of blacking out the roof here uh, as you guys can see there is like a outline here on the side of it um, so I'm thinking of adding 
black to that and maybe the hood also. So there is another thing that I ended up doing with it. If you guys can see, I ended up ordering the arches for this guy. And I will tell you what, it definitely helped. These arches definitely helped with the look because now it fills out, like have it right, look, if you guys can see that right there, you guys don't really see much of the tire. It looks like that the tire is basically flush with the body, which is exactly what I like. I do like that. Uh, the fact that it's not sticking out too much is perfect. So those are the three updates that I did with this. So I'm going to get in contact with Liam from WPL. Let him know about the inner drive shaft because he wanted me to let him know about it and we shall see what he says. I'm pretty sure that they, I'm pretty sure, I have a pretty good feeling that they are going to be using the 34 millimeter inner drive shaft as an upgrade for a drive shaft for this guy. Uh, they're probably more than likely still going to recommend that you flip the axles just for the main fact that, again, once you compress the suspension here, it is still a little floppy, but it works. It will work. I don't have a battery in here, right? No, I thought I had a battery. But um, it will work without flipping the axles. I think they're still gonna recommend you end up flipping the axles, but it will work without flipping the axles. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is all I have about the C74 for right now. Uh, I'm just waiting for the weather to break because we had snow, now we have rain, and I'm just waiting to take this guy out <laughs> with the wheels now and everything. I'm dying to take this guy out and uh, have her perform, especially now that I have the drive shafts installed on this guy so hope you guys enjoyed it hit that like button subscribe i will see you guys in another video you all have a good one keep our seeing